Good morning. It's our first real day in Kyoto. Um, to do, to, what we're going to do first is check out Tosh. Push. Push. The gates. Push. Push. Okay, on to our walk to the next train station. Yeah, you kind of, you need data if you come here. So if you're travelling with multiple people, if you just have one, yeah. so it just helps like even when you have to switch train stations and stuff. Or even we've been using this app called Hypermia. And you put in your starting train station and the train station you want to get to. And it'll tell you all the different lines you have to take. Um, and how much your fare should be. Because sometimes the ticket machines want you to pay before you... Yeah, and the options aren't in English, so it just says pay first, and you put in the money, and then you can select yeah. 150 yen, and that'll be the right ticket. So, without the app, you wouldn't know how much you need to pay. Yeah. So, we don't really know how, but we got on the wrong train, and now we're 30 minutes away from the show. on the train that said in the direction that said on the platform. After so we've been talking about it, we need to get this out. The wrong direction, so we've got <laughs> half an hour to <laughs> It's a bit frustrating because we got up early to go see the shrine before the big crowds, but that's okay. It's an adventure. We're not too far away. I hope we get on the right one. Yeah, but we'll be fine. Look at the scenery around here. Yes, I think we made it. We got off at the station. Shimi and Ari. It took us a lot longer than it should have, but we got here in the end. Well, we haven't actually got there yet. We're walking. <laughs> Okay, so I'm calling it. We've arrived at Fushimi Inari. It's um, oh, an area with temples in the south of Kyoto. Uh, they're all orangey red. It's really cool. Um, there's some people over there ringing some bells. So, would you like to hear the information that I gathered after a bit of research off the internet? Okay, let us begin. There are thousands of um, like gates, I think they call them, I don't know how to pronounce it, Tori. Uh, and I think each one has been dedicated, or donated, um, to the place. The big ones are a lot more expensive. I think you can buy little ones for 400,000 yen, which still sounds like a lot of money to me. Um, and it's all for the Shinto god of rice. And I've been told that the Shinto god of rice has little messengers in the form of foxes and um, that's why there's like heaps of fox statues and they sell soft toys of foxes at the front because they're the little messengers. messengers. There's a little fox that's you're learning which rock. names of the people that donated. Dead. Yeah. All 
photo out. It was really cool, but it's kind of ruined by the number of people. And we did our best to get here early, but then we, we got here had at that whole train debacle. So that's still kind of early. Mm. At 9.30 it was packed, and yeah. now it's 12, it's and it's like, not worth ridiculous. It. It's not yeah, it's not even worth not coming worth it, now. You don't come expecting... If you're coming for that perfect photos. Instagram photo, like it's almost impossible to get you unless to you get really early. You really high up. Mm. Um, but like, obviously we didn't come just, just for the photo. Okay, so we're back at the start again. It was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's really <laughs> hot in the sun. Uh, now we're going to go to another yeah, temple. <laughs> okay, so we've arrived on what Stace seems to think is the best like street. Um, to shop Main the main street. Where are we though? In Gion, which is like a main street district. Um, yeah. But look how old-fashioned it looks. <laughs> so we're in this random lolly shop in Gion. Um, so they've got lots of little hard lollies like these. This one's my favourite, it's like watermelon. And they also have this one, which is like a slice of watermelon. Yum. I really want one, but I haven't decided if I'm going to buy anything. It's really amazing. <laughs> Three. We're hovering because we think there might be free samples soon because they're picking out the bad ones. <laughs> Got lots of different variations. See? It's like an upside down. That's the name of the shop, Candy okay. Showtime. Yeah, that's the shop. So we're going to buy these ones. They've got kind of every fruit. If you look here. The kiwi one's really cute. There's cherry, raspberry, pineapple, blueberry. I think that one in there is great. And I found them on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. We stopped for more lollies because Stace has an addiction. Are you happy? So she's been talking about these weird spiky lolly balls for ages but she doesn't know when or if she's ever had them before. But we're gonna find out. We just had a very traditional lunch of spaghetti bolognese. I didn't know she had tomato sauce with vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> but we just gave up on looking and just needed food. Um, but Stace tried her weird spiky lollies. Yeah, they were yum. They were yum. I tried one too and it's, they're like nerds, but not sour. But yeah. And um, we were gonna go back to the hotel because we're wrecked. It's very hot. It's the hottest day of the trip, yeah. But we've decided we're close to this park that a lot of people come to, so we're gonna have a quick look and then go back. A lot of people come to see the cherry blossoms and obviously it's not that season, but we just thought we'd come and check it out anyway. So this is what we're seeing at the moment. This is a bit of shrine. Park's so pretty. It'd be so nice with the cherry blossoms in there. I imagine all these trees would all be. Pretty tree. Don't know if that's what the flowers are meant to look like, but it's pretty. And we found a bridge. Stacey's so gonna sit on the bridge and I'm gonna do a photo shoot. Yay me. It's so pretty around here. 
I think we're walking up to some sort of waterfall, but we're not sure. Well, I was talking about that. Oh, well, there's a waterfall there. <laughs> and now we're just walking up. We're not sure what's up here. Yeah. But, yeah. Had some really great photos. We, we did a bit of a photo shoot. The best photographer out of the two of us found the photo spot. Oh, that's so not true. I mean, you found a good spot, but you're not the best photographer. been Marathon Park. Uh, Mariyama Park. <laughs> Mariyama Park. Okay. So we're leaving the park now. It's really nice. Mm. It's worth coming to. We probably weren't going to come here. Yeah. Because we just didn't really think about it. And um, it's so quiet compared to everywhere else. Yeah. We were meant to go to a different temple this afternoon but we were too tired. Ooh, and we were going to just go back to the hotel and then we were like, no, let's see if there's one more thing we can do in this area. And but this we'll is actually that quite Thursday, anyway. Yeah. 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 And it was only like six minute walk from where we were. Yeah. So it's really nice. if you're close, maybe come and check it out. Rosh is about to buy a soft serve. She's going for the vanilla and matcha. Vanilla and matcha. Yes, wait. Is that one there? It's quite nice. Probably not a good idea for someone who's like Chris and Jolly. You've had an ice cream every single day. <laughs> Hasn't hit me yet. Thank you. Okay, quick try it before battery runs out. I actually like that. Really? Yeah, I think you should try it. It's strange, but like. Help? Stacey even didn't say it was disgusting. My friends. Um, so we had a bit of a rest at the hotel. And now we are on our way to go out for dinner. We're meeting up with the girl that we met at the Fushimi thing. Um, and we're going to go to this place that Stacey found on the internet. It's apparently got vegetarian ramen. So yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling them that we're getting vegetarian ramen, but I don't know if we will. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. We'll see. We'll tell you when we get there. So for some vegetarian ramen, this is the place to come to. In fact, it was vegan. Howdy, folks. Hey, hey. We're just out to dinner with this girl we met today. <laughs> we met her at... um. The Fushimi and Ari. Yes. Um, she asked us to take some photos of her because she's travelling by herself. She's and from then we Germany. Just got chatting. Um, yeah, we just kept talking for a while. Mm. Hold on. <laughs> we got talking for a while and then she, we did the rest of the walk with her. Um, and then we had plans to go to dinner tonight. And she was saying she was finding it hard to find places with like vegetarian options. Um, and we were going to a ramen place tonight with a vegetarian option called Epudo something. I took a, a video of the front of it. Yeah. Um, and that was good. Those vegan ramen, so that's even better mm. for people who are vegan. Because there's <laughs> nothing vegan in the only thing you have in, in Japan. Um, yeah, so we invited her and she came and we had dinner and then we went for a walk. We are trying to find this festival that we could find that it. she'd read about to her night. Um, but we couldn't find it, but we just went for a walk and then we got some ice cream at McDonald's. Yeah. We should take this to this. Yes. Um, is it? Yeah. Oh no. Do we have to go back down? Can we not go in here? Oh, we're really stuck. We're gonna um, go back down and then go back upstairs. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that was nice. That was fun. We might meet up with her again. Thursday morning because we're going to go get some pancakes and coffee with like animal designs. 
This isn't the right. <laughs> we must be B1. Wait, but if we get up here, we can get up. No, we need to go up one level. One is where we just were. I'm afraid. Okay. We got lost within a lift. Shall I move this from B where we just were? Maybe press that. Um, I don't know what to do. Oh, was there a B2? No, not oh. Anyway, it's been a rough day with mistakes and decision making. Yeah, it's like about 8.30, just go home. I really wanted another vanilla matcha. You're on the matcha. Um, couldn't find one anywhere. And then yeah, we've got another early start tomorrow, going to the bamboo forest and some other temples. Yeah. Um, I think that's it for tomorrow. She'll probably be a busy day, but yeah, we're both already wrecked. But uh, yeah, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.